Well, good morning. Uh, all right, so I just want to share with you guys something, and and because you guys know that these videos are not made yesterday, I can I can show you what I got badge because by the time he gets these things, or by the time this video goes up, he'll get these things. Do you guys remember his cute dog patch? Well, I got, and this isn't an ad for this company, uh, but I got these uh, socks with his dog on them. So I got badge is the red pair. L is the pink pair, but now they have socks of their dogs. So, I just thought of them. I saw this, and I thought to myself, we gotta, we gotta get these guys dog socks. <laughs> Project Mojo is back underway. <laughs> Good morning, Mojo. Good morning. So uh, I got over here bright and early at 10:30 in the morning, and he's already working on uh, insulation. And uh, this is highly recommended. Uh, also, not an ad, but they should they should sponsor me. It seems like a lot of people are using this stuff. After I've done a few videos on it, and other people have done it, so uh, this is definitely the way to go. Uh, feeling optimistic, feeling happy. Um, I had Wanderboom give me a call the other day. He was kind of up a creek and uh, trying to figure out what kind of paddle he needed. So, so we were, I was on the phone, calling places, sourcing equipment, people, parks, buses, whatever. So glad I could help out with my friends who've who've helped me. Um, we appreciate and, your help. Yeah, <laughs> I, I told Mojo Bus I sent uh, badge that. Uh, those socks and he was he was cracking up so <laughs> anyways today I'm just gonna help him out he's gonna do a little painting uh, he's playing with Bondo that's always everybody's favorite thing to do I'm gonna put a second layer of this stuff on and then he's going to build a wooden cubby hole slash step and that's where he's gonna store shoes and things like that excellent use of space looks good brand new steps coming in you want to explain what you're doing? Because I think I've kind of mentioned it, but uh, it's better to have the mad scientist explain it. Absolutely. So, as you've seen, we rewelded the new steps on here because the rest it out. Now I'm putting three-quarter plywood over the top. And right here, I'm going to have a step, the middle step, which will be a cubby that will open up and we'll put our shoes and outdoor stuff in that. It'll be cool. That's a good idea. Thank God it's cooled down a little bit. Yesterday was a hot one. <laughs> it was so hot, in fact, that I actually went to the store last night. I got myself sunscreen for today. But as you can see, it's a little on the overcast side. Thank God. Hey, Mojo. Uh, today, we are going to redo the window, window panel area. We're just going to kind of bring it in a little bit on the sides. I also made it a little bit longer. Um, this is the where the entryway doors are. Uh, made a little bit longer instead of having something that jumps out I'm just gonna hide the wires underneath this and just kind of sand this down or cut it in notch it in a little bit All right, just like emerald BAM through the power of filmmaking We traced this thing out already. We clamped it already and we got mojo bus showing me how to drop a skill saw right on the path of the least resistance we go. So with the guide yeah right on that line there. Okay, cool. Are you going to let it rip? I'm going to plug it in first. By the way, he says he does never, never wants to get near this thing when, when it's plugged in. It's so, probably why he has still ten fingers. Fun story. Actually, once I was working with one of these skill saws, and I made my cut, and I went and just set the saw down next to me, and it caught the cord, ripped it out from the plug, and gave me like a snake bite in my face. And Yikes. Blood pouring on my face. So I always watch where you're putting it down afterwards too. <laughs> for all you guys that say I never do anything out there. You gotta make sure the blade's off of the wood when you start it. Okay. And you got that
Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's the next day. And I got Mojo here, also known as Justin. We are putting up, guess what guys, the remaining parts of the cedar. Now, Steampunk Steve, if you were watching this, you will remember that we attempted to put in these pieces. And because these are from Home Depot, and these are from Lowe's, there was a slight variation because of the mill. So we're going to have to stuff these in. It's not going to be the best time, but maybe what we'll do is we'll just kind of chip off one of the one of the sides here and make it fit. You guys see what I see? Progress! No more spray foam right there. We are finishing up the rest of the ceiling. This will be covered up in a little bit. We're going to do the same thing over on this side right now. If I didn't previously say it before, if anybody is watching this video and is thinking about using cedar on your roof, don't. Just, just don't. Do yourself a favor, get shiplap. <clears throat> call a mill, call a lumberyard. Call your doctor. Do not ever get this garbage cedar uh, paneling. It's too brittle, it's too thin, it's too hard to work with. We just did four pieces together. How are you feeling? You like this Exhausted. stuff? Exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's mm -hmm. such a pain in the ass to make it look really good. So, and we previously spent hours and hours and hours, and me and Steve put half of the thing down, had to take it back up. It's it's wavy. There's nothing you can do about it. There's parts that will kind of bump out. Um, this is a permanent earthquake house. It is under constant rattling. Do not get or use, do not use cedar tongue and groove, the stuff in the little packages, the plastic packages that's like a quarter inch by four or something. Get the thick, get something thicker. Just do it. Trust me. You'll thank me. Renee Mojo, what are you doing over here? Whitewashing. So these uh, will go on, these will go for the wire chases and um, above the window. And here are a couple samples that we did. We had to kind of figure out the right mixture because, well, this is a different grit sandpaper we used and if you use a higher grit sandpaper, it just, it takes on a whole different kind of character. So we're making quick work of the remaining things here. <coughs> we were able to get these ones in, uh, installed. Justin Mojo gave me a, uh, a hand. It's almost kind of like Tim Apple. Did you hear about that the other day? No. I don't think you did. What? No. But uh, Justin Mojo uh, helped me uh, put up those two remaining pieces, and then I did the liberty of staining. And uh, over here as well, we got these two pieces. And uh, we're probably going to button it up here because it's getting dark. And let's go check in on the back area. We have some major painting going on. And actually, you know what? There's, he, does, he doesn't know about these lights. There we go. Oh, huh? look at that. <laughs> so, let there be light. Let there be light. So, we were just doing the uh, cabinet color, and I also stained the ceiling. I know some people uh, chimed in and said what color they would uh, like me to see, so uh, I went with the stain. Uh, to match the ceiling. It is a little bit wet, so it will have a different look than this right here. Also, towards the light, it's kind of hard to see. Um, but, wow, look at the contrast, huh? This white um, subway tile with a dark brown ceiling. I think it's gorgeous, so uh, I'm curious to see what, uh, what you guys think of this beautiful bathroom built by Reed Schutzingle Schooley. Uh, and also... Mojo Bus is for hire. Um, I'm not sure if he wants to do cabinets because he needs all the equipment, but he is the one who did all of this cabinetry work here. And uh, it's just awesome. And then, of course, we've got Wander Boom on top here with the uh, countertops. And uh, speaking of being for hire, Justin is going to get back into the social media uh, Facebook marketing world. He's going to start back up another business. And uh, that's how he is going to pay his way on the road. Um, diesel doesn't grow on trees. Unfortunately not. Unfortunately, unless you drive a vegetable oil. 
<laughs> if, if I had a good way of extracting you from the ground and everything. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. So if anybody has a small business, hit up Mojo Bus, Mojo underscore Bus on Instagram, uh, and he will take care of all your business stuff on Facebook, place all the ads for you. Uh, he also does um, uh, graphic design and things like that. So Mojo work, website building, all, websites, all fun stuff. Yeah, so let's spread the word, guys. Let's uh, make sure the school bus nomad community knows that he is that those are his skills and, and he can help somebody out and in turn it would keep him on the road I like being on the road <laughs> you're wondering um, we are going to put a uh, what is it called here a polyacrylic on the ceiling Justin should we put the polyacrylic on the walls too okay we're gonna put them on the walls and the ceiling uh, basically all the cedar stuff that you see here uh, so back on the bed, um, it did get a little stained up, so maybe we can wipe it beforehand um, before we put the polyacrylic because it will seal it and, uh, and and put a nice kind of coat on everything. But we're gonna, I gotta let this dry uh, for at least a day, 24 hours. Tomorrow, I have some new schooly people coming by. Uh, these guys hit me up. Was like, hey. You know, we're, we're down the way, can we come by, uh, hang out, give a hand? So I was like, you know, if you want to, I mean, you can definitely come by. So they're gonna come by tomorrow. You guys will meet them in the next video. And we're just gonna wrap things up here on the bus. Um.